This is one of the strongest hurricanes on record in the Atlantic, and it takes aim at Jamaica tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. All eyes are on Melissa as it continues to move off toward the north, getting close to landfall. It has actually been moving south at times tonight as it continues its stalling behavior. But this storm is about as strong as you can get in the Atlantic. It is feeding off of an area in the Caribbean that is just fueling it, and unfortunately, it's going to make a series of devastating landfalls in the coming hours. Folks, if you're new to this channel, please like this video so more people can see it. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already and turn on notifications. As my goal, as always, with severe weather is to give you an instant look at where severe weather is happening and to give you a closer look at what's coming up down the line. In this case, we've been watching this system for a very long period of time, and unfortunately, the models uh, were right uh, really early on that this was going to be a monster, and it is right now. Folks, if you look at this eye wall, <clears throat> it is so strong and so pronounced that the National Hurricane Center tried to come in from the southwest section of that today. As they did, they got up to that eye wall and there was so much turbulence they had to turn around. That's not common. They don't typically do that. They're able to punch right through most times. In addition to that, it's not unusual for birds to be sadly trapped in an eye wall. They can't get out. There's just too much wind and turbulence around it for the birds to fly out safely, so they get trapped in the middle. Well, in this case, the National Hurricane Hunters said they flew in and saw an abundance of those birds. And that's what was not typical about this, is there was a lot of birds in this, unfortunately. This is a migration time of the year, and, and who knows what caused that. But another kind of tragic reminder of just how powerful this storm system is. You know, there's one thing for birds, but this is taking the lives of, of, of people, folks, uh, in Haiti and the Dominican Republic today, landslides. And here you can see this eye wall just as pronounced and buzzsaw-like as you can see. The wind speeds are now the top four ever recorded in the Atlantic. Uh, for wind speeds, 175 miles per hour today. Those gusts have gotten up to 214 miles per hour in some of our various measurements. So wind gusts over 200 miles per hour, sustained winds at 175, and it's on approach right now. They're telling folks in Jamaica, because the airports are closed now, of course, to run from the water and to hide from the wind. So that means getting away from the shoreline because the, the storm surge is coming in. It could be 10, 20 feet in some locations. And then you add in the fact that the wind is going to be so ferocious with this storm. Uh, it, is, it is really a devastating blow underway right now. Where are you watching from right now? Please let me know in the comment section. Are you anywhere right now near this? Are you in the Cayman Islands? Any of my friends in the Cayman Islands right now? Anybody watching right now from Jamaica? Please let me know what your comments in the comments here, what you're seeing, what you're feeling. I know so many of you have been watching, and my prayer, wherever it is you're watching right now, is that you will stay safe in this storm. Um, you know, as I look closer at this, I've got a brand new model here I want to show you as we look closer at it. It has shifted slightly to the south and west. So as we look closer at Jamaica, where it's going to go, there is a swath here of the most intense winds. It's about 30 miles wide, and it indicates to me that that's where the 150 plus mile per hour winds will go. Now you go over here towards some very populated areas, it's still going to be very bad. We're talking about wind, we're talking about uh, flooding, we're talking about storm surge, but the winds in that area, <clears throat> because it's farther away from that core, go down as low as, as 60 to 70 miles per hour. So there's a big difference with where this makes landfall and where it doesn't. Either way, it is a devastating blow for this area of Jamaica. And right there where it does make landfall is a highly elevated area. So when you get up higher in these, that's the problem is on these western and southwestern facing slopes of these mountain ranges, that's where the wind's going to be exacerbated, okay? We could have those gusts be as much as 30% higher than at the sea level. So that's why we got to really be careful of this system is this model is showing 201 mile per hour wind gusts out of this at this time making landfall. The wind speed would be somewhere around 186 miles per hour. That would put it at one of the strongest hurricanes to ever make landfall on the Atlantic Basin. So 186 mile per hour wind speeds and wind gusts on this model sit around 201 miles per hour. All right, then it moves up toward the north. The timing, forgot about the timing. This is tonight, about 8 a.m. into mid-morning tomorrow. Devastating landfall. Moving into land, 
makes a second landfall tomorrow night or tonight whenever you're watching this over Cuba. Wind gusts around 118 miles per hour at landfall. Wind speed in Cuba would be around 100 miles per hour. So it's a cat two, cat three. Then it's back out over water again where it gets over to some of these Turks and Caicos, 112 mile per hour wind gusts. And it's pushing up here toward Bermuda. Significant impacts in Bermuda. Let's look for a second at the precipitation, what this will look like on radar and what it looks like right now. Just unleashing some of its bigger bands on Jamaica tonight. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. By 10 a.m. tomorrow, it's about making landfall between 10 and noon, it looks like, at current speed. Then it's pushing up toward Cuba. Finally, Jamaica starts to see some relief around 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow. Cuba getting it. Turks and Caicos. Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Bermuda takes a pretty good hit here Friday. By then, looks like our winds are up around Cat 1, Cat 2 status. Maybe even back to Cat 3. Very big hit for Bermuda on this uh, new high-resolution model. So what do the other models show? The ship's model, Cat 5, pushes up through Bermuda into to Cuba as a Cat 4. Cat 2 for Turks and Caicos. Cat 1 to Tropical Storm, getting ravaged by the jet stream after that for Bermuda. Looking closer at the National Hurricane Center track, it's fairly close to that ship's model. Cat 4, Cat 5. Cat 3, Cat 4 for Cuba, gets into Turks and Caicos, 100 plus miles per hour, and then trying to weaken as it goes up toward Bermuda. DeepMind has been doing a fantastic job and has this pegged really well along with our high resolution models uh, toward the western tip of Jamaica in here, and it's intense. Let's look if anything else is brewing, folks. And, and the good news is it doesn't look like it, okay? Not uncommon to get tropical development this time of the year, but as we go deeper, more wind shear, more cold fronts start to kind of deflate some of that, okay? So that's kind of what I have for you right now, folks, as we look at the pattern as a whole, what's cooking off the East Coast. Well, here's what's steering, Melissa. Is this big dip in the jet stream right here toward Halloween. Big time cold air pushing all the way far south is Florida. And it pushes this thing off to the east and cold air surges in across the eastern half of the United States. It's gonna be chilly all the way through the first few days of November. It looks like we could even have some big time cold air. A couple of bouts of mountain snow for North Carolina. And then this thing pushes off toward the east and a couple of different clipper systems. And here we go, another one here for the ninth, 10th weekend, eighth, ninth weekend. Then it looks like we level off toward mid-November and maybe kind of warm up a little bit is what this model is showing. So folks, let me first of all just say if you have a request, a prayer request, if you have uh, a statement, something you want to say wherever you're located, please let me know in the comment section. I will read those comments tomorrow uh, based on where you're watching from right now. So uh, that will help me out tremendously to know where you're watching from right now as I like to keep up with that. Uh, on these videos and that's a time for us to continue the conversation and to keep this conversation going because so many of you are watching from all over and I want to be able to give you that chance to to be able to to say whatever's on your mind. In this case, uh, today's comments, we have many people watching from Jamaica and that that just really does, does my heart a lot of good uh, to know that uh, those of you that are in the path of this storm are, are taking the time to find my little spot on the internet here uh, to find uh, information that, that hopefully you find helpful and uh, folks, that's my goal with any kind of severe weather uh, forecasting is to keep you protected with any kind of, kind of weather that's coming in. So we have Beverly watching from Jamaica right now. Thank you. God is going to protect us. Amen. Beverly, I sure uh, have that prayer for you as well. Looks like you got 28 people praying for you as well. Um, JC says, praying for all as a resident near Western North Carolina. The verse has been very helpful to me. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. JC uh, quotes uh, Psalm 46.1 there. Hope you find that helpful. Uh, 
Rena says, amen, I stand in agreement with you. I'm believing God for a miracle for Jamaica. God be with you and your family. I pray for the Lord covers you with his hand. Please take care, says American woman. Uh, you need to take this seriously. Florida saying hello. Get off the island if possible. Unfortunately, it's too late for that. Uh, what they're saying is, um, you know, sturdy structures. Run from the water, hide from the wind. Thank you, Chris, for keeping us updated. You do a great job. Prayers for those in the path. Watching from Jupiter, Florida. Jamaica. Montego Bay, November. Thank you for watching. Let's see what else we got. Living in Canada, fully Jamaican. My heart is almost at a standstill. Back home is my daughter and her family, brother, aunt, uncles, and numerous friends. Lord have mercy. Julian, uh, prayers for your family, okay? Uh, Victoria says, I've been praying for the beautiful, hardworking, resilient people of Jamaica, and now your family also, Julian. May the Lord in Jesus' name give your family the courage and the strength to survive this awful storm. I feel for you as a mom. Just pray and believe and don't give up. I hope your family took all the proper precautions to protect themselves. Blessings, Victoria. I echo that, uh, Julian. And what I would say is, you know, one of the hardest parts after Halim for, for me locally was the the communication breakdown afterwards. There was very little to no way to communicate with people around here because cell phone towers are so devastated, and that's common in, in, in natural disasters like this. But um, just please try to keep your nerves calm, try to keep your, your mind calm, especially after the storm has hit and that communication breakdown is there. Is, uh, hopefully you're able to be able to communicate with them uh, as we move forward here. Thank you, Hannah. Um, yep, I'll have it up. I'll have the boxes if that's cool. Okay, um, so yes, uh, please try to keep that in mind as the communication breakdown continues to be uh, in place. And, and, and folks, depending on this hit, it could be, it could be significant. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I'm in the St. Andrews region of Kingston. Uh, There's so many infrastructure issues. Drainage is a problem. It's just our daily tropical rains. Uh, many small structures are unstable and roads are an obstacle course of huge potholes. And this is, of course, before the hurricane hits. We're doing everything we can to prepare, but I think only God alone will protect us and bring us through. One thing that I must lift up about the Jamaican people is the resilience and generosity during the worst of times. They will come together and they will help out their neighbor. Uh, that's so good to hear. May we all trust in God's mercy and love. Uh, Susan, thank you for that, and and yeah, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that, um, and hopefully, you know, this storm, as it moves on through, um, it looks like it's doing a little western jog, so this is not going to be the entire island seeing 180 mile per hour winds, okay? It looks like it's that western side of the island, and, and my prayer is for those areas, because that, that is going to be the hardest hit areas. Praying for everyone in Jamaica right now, praying for all those in Jamaica, the DR, Haiti, Cuba, the entire Caribbean, praying for Jamaica, says Veronica. Praying without ceasing for the people of Jamaica, Robin says. Southwest Florida here, please bless Jamaican, Lord. God bless and protect Jamaica. Praying for Jamaica. Praying for those in the path. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, thank you for watching right now. I'm Jen in London, UK. My daughter and granddaughter in Ocho Rio on vacation. I'm also worried about them and everyone in the path of this storm. I'm praying for everyone's safety. Thank you for watching right now from the UK. And... Uh, you know, we're certainly watching everybody there, and uh, Ocho Rios is one of those areas that, that will be hit. Um, hoping that they're in a very sturdy structure. Uh, you got Juliet here watching from Ocho Rios as well, and what a beautiful area! I just know you're going to pull through. I, I've seen it happen here in Western North Carolina from Helene. I know that it's going to happen again for you guys as well. Uh, my prayers are there with you as well. So, watching from Beaufort, South Carolina, I love the focus on the ensembles and praying for the Caribbean friends. Watching from San Juan, it's raining here. We're praying for Jamaica and remember Maria. Also worried for Cuba and Haiti. Hey Chris, St. Augustine, Florida, praying for Jamaica. Prayers for Jamaica from the upstate. Watching from Bermuda, thank you for watching. We'll keep you posted, Willie. Could be coming your way. Blessings from Jamaica, Christopher says. Hi, thank you for watching. Watching from Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm from Nova Scotia, watching and praying for Jamaica as well. God, have mercy on us in Jamaica. Melissa's coming direct hit, but you are God. Yes, he is. Amen to that. Coastal North Carolina here praying for Jamaica. I'm watching from Freeport, Bahamas, Chris. The weatherman, your report was excellent and impressive. My prayers are with the, those in the islands impacted by Melissa. Many, many prayers from Brunswick, Georgia. 
Much love to our Caribbean neighbors. Amen. Many blessings and love for uh, Jamaica, a beautiful country. I'm zooming in from the Bahamas. Thank you for watching. Prayers for Pennsylvania, from Pennsylvania, from everyone in the path of Melissa. My coworker has family living in St. Catherine, Jamaica. We live in Port Charlotte, North Port, Florida area, thinking of them and also remembering what we went through with Jamaica and Ian. Uh, the surge, the never-ending wind, the storm the, the, the Milton gave us last year. Prayers for the Jamaican com communities. Be safe for this unpredicted storm, for the predicted storm surge and path. Please run from the water, hide from the wind. Amen. Montego Bay, glad for the updates. Thank you, thank you. Our prayers are with you. My prayers are for the people of Jamaica. Chris, thank you for keeping us posted on this weather. Portia says, I'm praying for everyone in Jamaica. Watching from Canada, Virginia, North Carolina, Virginia, USA. North Carolina is in the house. Jamaica, relatives on the west side. Oh, man, faith. Hopefully they are in a sturdy structure right now. Please keep us posted on here. Um, may God protect them. Turks and Caicos, watching right now. Wow, this thing is a monster of a storm. Puerto Rico, a week ago, I could not imagine. Prayers to those who have to endure this. Tamara says, Chris, thank you for being transparent and straightforward. That is the reason I watch you. I live in North Florida. I'd rather have 10 plus days to get prepared for the potential of bad weather instead of waiting to the last minute. Again, thank you for your passionate dedication for bringing us the very best. Tamara, thank you so much. That means the worst, the, the best to me, and even in the worst of these storms. Long Island, Bahamas watching. Hi. Jason's watching from Jamaica. Clarendon in Jamaica. Prayers from Atlanta. Thank you, Ozzy. Watching from Kingston, Jamaica. Watching from Jamaica, God be the glory. Great thing he had done. Amen. Lord have mercy on Jamaica. South Coast of Jamaica watching. Still in Maine. Praying for Jamaica. Chris, you're killing it. Rock on, brother. Thank you. I am from Jamaica. I am in the exact path of this hurricane in Portland Cottage. Clarendon guy, please pray for us in case when this is all over, I pray that we will be okay. Eric, I pray that as well. You know, it's, it's one of those things here I always like to say, uh, you know, these models, we try to prepare you, not to scare you. And it seems like you are prepared. seems like you have done that. You're saying here I'm on higher ground, but the thing is my health is not so healthy. Eric, I would just challenge you if you're watching right now, is there anybody that you have friends with that you can, you can try to go to that would be a slightly better situation for you? You know the saying, run from the water hide from the wind. If you're away from the water, I feel a lot better, okay? The wind is going to be ferocious, but most of the problems come from landslides. Most of the problems come from water, okay? So if you can be in a sturdy structure, even if, even if, okay, the wind does some damage to your structure, um, I'm hopeful that you're away from water, okay? Uh, that's my prayer for you, Eric, and, and, and thank you for finding this little place on the internet here. My prayers are with you. Please stay safe, okay? Hilton Head Island here watching. We got Jamaica praying. Jamaica, St. Thomas in the house. Garland County, Arkansas. In God we trust. Prayers for Jamaica. Watching from Jamaica. Thank you, Chris. Tuning in from St. Pete, Florida. Living in South Carolina. Pensacola, Florida. Anderson, South Carolina. Portland, Maine. Watching right now. West End Negril. Praying for Jamaica. Amen. El Salvador, Treasure Beach, living in Fort Lauderdale, Barbados, watching right now. Jamaica from the Florida. Black River, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, calm here right now. And we got Eugene, Oregon in the house. Folks, uh, it is going to be a rough night, and my prayer is that even in the worst of the wind roaring, that you'll feel God's presence, God's comfort on you, and that you'll, you'll push through and that you'll just hold on, okay? Because you know that on the other side of, of the worst of the storm, uh, there is going to be a sunny day, all right? And that's my prayer for you is that you'll, you'll hold on to that reminder and that um, you'll hop back on here when you can to let us know how each of you are doing because you've got a, a, a community of people on this uh, this online forum right here that's uh, praying for you and uh, you got this okay we'll be back with more updates uh, as we go into the morning hours folks this is going to be a long 12 to 24 hours for folks in the Caribbean uh, thank you guys for tuning in if you're new to the channel please subscribe right now I'll keep you posted along the way of this storm and more
See everybody.